Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm glad you're here this morning on this 23rd day of April. It is Thursday morning, and the time as I make this is about 20 minutes till 4. Uh, somewhat abbreviated video a little bit today because uh, I need to swing into action early. So we're going to get to the facts on today's severe weather, which could come in two rounds. A line of severe thunderstorms, strongest severe storms, uh, perhaps this morning, causing damaging wind gusts. I think the tornado threat with round one is relatively small, but not zero. And then as that gets out of the area, the atmosphere recovers this afternoon and heats up and destabilizes and round two develops with uh, individual thunderstorms that become severe and then potentially tornadic and that could be a much more dangerous situation with an enhanced severe weather risk today all modes of severe weather are on the board including a flash flood watch with locally heavy rainfall amounts all right that's enough of the headlines let's get into the details Here's a snapshot at 1 o'clock today with low pressure north of Memphis, a trailing cold front, and we are in the warm air sector, and it's a very juicy warm air sector, very conducive to severe weather today. So most of the state of Alabama, except the northern counties, is in an enhanced level 3 severe weather risk, including all modes of severe weather, including the threat of tornadoes, and uh, also damaging winds, and large hail as well. Uh, round 1 this morning will be mainly a damaging wind threat, but we can't rule out a tornado. This afternoon, th the risk is um, potentially more of a tornado situation. 7 o'clock in the morning, you see uh, a line of showers and storms already on the I-65 corridor at that hour. So the action starts early. And by 10 o'clock in the morning, all of that shifting into southeast Alabama. Then the atmosphere has a chance to recover and warm up and destabilize. And that's when thunderstorms will start to develop uh, across the western counties and spread eastward. Individual supercells, which may become tornadic. And that's going to that could be a potentially dangerous situation, depending on how round one uh, plays out. There's 4 o'clock in the the afternoon and then by later on in the evening uh, towards about six o'clock the action shifts east and um, the the threat begins to uh, move out of our area and into Georgia and North Florida at that hour Today's high around 80, strong to severe thunderstorms today with a couple of rounds of severe weather. Tonight's low 59, south winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour today adds fuel to the fire. Rainfall potential could be locally heavy, 2 to 3 inches perhaps, uh, with 1 to 2 inch amounts down there in southeast Alabama as well. Uh, and on top of what we've had already, this is going to lead to, you know, a potential flooding event. So a flash flood watch in effect for much of the area today, and that is certainly understandable. Uh, keep in mind that a lot of rivers are near bank full or, um, or higher. Our weather app will keep you on top of the action today. Instant push notification for severe weather alerts. Get it on your phone or tablet now. Plus, we you have advanced interactive radar, you'll be able to see where the storms are now and where they're going to be over the next few hours. It's great to have. Plus, our live stream will be on there as well. Tomorrow, a nice day behind the storm system with a high temperature in the lower 80s, warm weather and sunshine. And then on Saturday, I think most of the action will be in across North Alabama. There could be some stronger storms across North Alabama, but over South Alabama, the trailing part of that front doesn't have much precipitation. So I've taken rain out of the Saturday forecast, and Sunday will be a storm-free Sunday for the first time in a long time. That'll be nice. A cool start on Monday morning in the upper 40s, but I think we end up uh, in the, um, you know, a nice warm day on Monday. So, 83 tomorrow after the storm. Uh, it's going to be a nice day. We'll be around 81 Saturday, and uh, I've taken the rain chances pretty much out of the weekend forecast. High in the mid-70s Sunday as we cool down behind the front. Near 80 Monday into the 80s on Tuesday, and then maybe some more showers and thunderstorms towards the middle of the week. And already this morning, as I make your video, the first tornado watch of the day covering all of South Alabama, south of a line from Selma to Montgomery to Auburn. So those cities are not included, but everybody in South Alabama is included in this first tornado watch of the day, now covering South Alabama till 1. All right, so it's a very complicated situation today. Uh, we'll be with you, of course, uh, live on the radio and uh, live on your weather app on our live stream. You are probably, since there's been so much severe weather, aware of the various ways that we come to you on social media as well. Plus, every once in a while, we'll cut in on television with uh, Shane and Ryan and Ben as well. So stay weather aware today. There'll be another video for you, I hope, tomorrow morning at 4.45 a.m. And uh, we'll have uh, the latest on the weekend forecast for you as well. See you later.